Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. Up there you're, you're looking at uh, my, <laughs> my home network sort of uh, nexus there. there uh, there's the, uh, the, the cable modem, there's a switch there, there's an ATA there, there's, a, there's a, uh, the router there, and there's a sort of a ghetto reflector, a little fan if it gets too hot uh, behind those books. We're going to take a little closer look at that, but of specific interest for this video is that little box with the red light and that my friends is a pie hole <laughs> this is the the pie hole appliance that i just set up yesterday and i and uh i just want to show um the normal operation of it. Uh, I left a bit of a mess as you can see so I'm gonna fix that up uh, more or less right now. This is it under normal operation. You can see this sort of steady blinking light. This is uh, as it's uh, dealing with queries from the network and speaking of the network let me just give you a quick rundown of what's here. This is a, a, a switch with I think uh, six uh, no eight eight inputs and it takes care of the TV the the blue the uh, ultra high definition player or disc player the receiver as well as uh, my computer which is in, on, in the other room there's another switch in the office so there's two switches on this network and then it feeds into the router over there now i left this in a bit of a state the other day because uh, i ran into a few gotchas and i just wanted to share those with you and number one on that is to is when you um, there is the, I'm speaking of Windows particularly, and when you burn the SD card, the micro SD card, there's a program called Etcher that you'll use, and what you want to make do, want to want to do, <laughs> make sure you do, is to let it complete normally. And I found on first running and first, you know, burning, trying to flash this card with the operating system, is that uh, uh, I left the, I left it on all the defaults but it took a long time to try and unmount so i think i kind of i kind of forced it and i got a corrupted flash i guess it corrupted on uh exit and then when i tried to you know i put it in here and i booted it and i got a bunch of blinking lights and i didn't really know what they meant and i found out subsequently that they that there is some meaning to you know sort of a sort of a succession of different lights as it tries to boot up and fails um what twigged me really to that there was a problem is that I, I wanted to tunnel in through the network and uh, uh, but on the router it, there was no there was no IP address for that device on the router so I knew something was wrong and eventually just through the process of el elimination because I came back here and exchanged the cable I'm just gonna power this off so that we can watch the normal boot up and then actually maybe I'll just clean up the cable later because I don't know if it really, well maybe I'll just do that now too <laughs> just because I I can while I'm here save me a bit of trouble or you guys a little trouble there we go and the thing is that uh, I just uh, yeah there was no entry in the in the router for this device so I couldn't you know there, I couldn't eventually yeah that's better it's a nice shorter shorter proper patch cable and I'll patch that into here whoops and then we can watch the normal boot up process as well. Uh, so this is a this is actually a nice little router. There we go. This is a an Asus AC68U. Uh, it's a little bit dated, but it's certainly better than nicer than my older one. And I think they're going for uh, I don't know they're on sale about eighty bucks in the states sometimes refurbished. Uh, it's worth picking one up if you if you haven't got one. Ah. So uh, while on the subject of my network, I forgot to mention. This little box here, and that's for that's for my VoIP. We kicked the uh, landline to the curb a few years ago uh, because it was just becoming uh, too expensive. It was forty-five dollars Canadian a month, and it was just like forget it. You know, I, I'm just gonna figure out how to do this, and it wasn't that bad actually. And it finally came to the same thing with the with the. Oh, okay, so let's. Let's plug it in, and you'll see this case is actually pretty cool too. This is off Amazon, twenty bucks. It comes in all these different layers. Um, <laughs> I w if you get this thing, I would say wait until you've got the the it set up 
or, or assembled before you put in this final this little heat sink here because uh, it's I sort of had to fludge it around and I ended up cracking I think here where I can where is it now I can't even see it it's a little tiny crack in there but uh, and then this part is way too flush and I had to uh, trim a bit of the oops that's not in focus there I tried to trim a bit of the the uh, shielding off that in order to get it in here but it's other than that it's pretty cool it's see-through you know it's like uh, kind of got a nice modern design to it everything is accessible and it's got this cute, cute little fan I have it on the three 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 and a half volts so it doesn't you know I, I can't even hear it it's totally silent so so let's uh, let's fire this up so basically firing it up is just plugging it in and giving it power so this is upside down whoops there we go let's plug it in and then watch the boot so then get a thing there nice long green light process of booting and when that light goes out I think it's it's live Whew. now and the final other little final gotcha is to make sure if you want to do SSH uh, the, the term see there it is it now it's now it's running normally and it's uh, it's uh, the little the light is I'm gonna put that down show you the little light <laughs> Uh, relax you Ugh, some of these cables are so stiff I'm gonna have to break that in a little bit I think and this uh, this actually comes with a nice power cable it's, I mean a, a switch so you can actually turn it off if uh, if you have a better setup or nearer setup than I do um, yeah so so you can see here that it's uh, it's live uh, yeah the final little gotcha is is that you have to put in if you want to do the tunneling and I suggest that's the way to go because then you can just set it up you don't have to you know hook up and unhook a, a, a you know a monitor and a keyboard <laughs> and also you just SSH in and it's a good it's it's easy it's like there's like you know four or five commands that you have to figure out and I'm gonna link a bunch of stuff there so that it's gonna be easy for you to find and I, again, I have to say, is it worth it? <laughs> in, in the one day I've had this running, and this is why I kind of got anxious to make this video, is that we've already blocked over a thousand, thousand adverts, uh, 16,000 uh, <laughs> accesses in one day. And, um, you know, and that's mainly because of the, the, the apps on the phone, you know, the, 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 oops, let's see if I can tilt that up. The apps on the phone, they have the, the, um, Mm, the ad's running 24-7, and it's, uh, oh, it's probably right in the light there. Um, oh, let me get down. Oh, yeah, that looks a little better now. You can see that. You know, I have to do something. I have to set the, put the books back. And uh, so this is take two of this because the background was in focus and not myself, and that's really irritating. But anyway, um, I, so that's that's that. Uh, I just wanted to make n a note of a couple of things: is that a that you'll need to provide your own patch cable, which goes without saying. And secondly, what I neglected to finish saying earlier was that in order to enable SSH, you will have to put an empty text file on the SD card. So once it's finalized, before you know pulling it out e or ejecting it, make sure you put on an empty text file. So that's like capital S, capital S H, and it's in the documentation somewhere. You'll make a note of that. And uh, then you'll be able to tunnel into that and set it up and voila, you know. Uh, and as I said uh, before, it's worth it. it uh, you know, if there's something that you've been thinking about, you've seen, been seeing these devices around. As far as a project goes, uh, you, you know, you could do a lot worse. And it's not that hard. So if, you, if like me, this is sort of the first time you've done this sort of thing, um, then this is the way to go, especially since all your devices, like wireless devices, that you know go through the, the router which they obviously do they would get their the the dns so you can always set them up in different devices so you can get anyway it's all it's all very configurable but uh, at the base level you know it's pretty darn pretty darn easy and then uh, you know it's like having ad ad block in your apps as well as browsing so that's a that's something that uh that you know is certainly <laughs> certainly to think about all right, so there's that. Thanks for tuning. I mean, thanks for watching. <laughs> Till next time, bye for now.